I'm innocent. I didn't harm anybody. But please, politicians that I don't trust, make laws that will restrict more of my rights. This guy right here says, I was born and raised in Texas. I learned to shoot a gun when I was in elementary school. I went dove hunting for the first time in middle school. I was taught how important it is to support the Second Amendment and the rights of citizens to own guns. But most importantly, I learned that you can protect the Second Amendment while implementing common sense gun reform outlined in this powerful video. We're going to watch that powerful video in a second. Powerful, so powerful. But he was taught how important it is to support the Second Amendment, and yet he wants to implement common sense gun reform, which means gun control, which means human control, which means infringement. And the Second Amendment says shall not be infringed. Now, on to the powerful video by Harry Sisson, who says the Texas mall mass shooting proves we need gun reform, which is gun control, which is people control. And how do you enforce those laws, those gun control laws? That's right, by the barrel of a government gun. So Harry is actually calling for government-sanctioned, government-funded gun violence. Let's listen. Today in the Texas mall mass shooting, children were killed, little kids with futures cut too short, and the Republican Party believes that their guns are more important than those kids' lives. It's disgusting. Does anybody believe that guns are more important than kids' lives? I've never heard anybody say that. Not at all. And if you want to keep your gun in the midst of all these people squalling about you giving up your gun, that doesn't mean that you think your gun is more important than a kid's life. But it does mean that your kid's life is so important that you have a gun. And I'm tired of pretending like their policies don't contribute to these tragedies. It's time to stop being nice about this issue. No more, maybe we do this, or maybe we do that. No more thoughts or prayers. No, absolutely not. It's time for some massive gun reform. Banning assault weapons, raising the minimum age, red flag laws, permit to purchase laws, mental health evaluations, and more. And for all the Republicans who want to sit there and do nothing about this issue, get the hell out of the way so we can start saving lives. Banning guns literally means criminalizing innocent people who own those guns. And my question is for Harry or anybody who would suggest that we need to take guns away from innocent people who didn't harm others, how is that just? And further, gun laws, like I said, are enforced at the barrel of a government gun. So actually, they're not against gun violence, which there's no such thing, but let's say there was. They're not against gun violence. But they want a government who even they would say they don't trust. Politicians who even they would say they don't believe. They want the politicians and the government to create laws. And those laws will be enforced by the barrel of a government gun. A government that they don't trust. So gun control, which is really people control. They want the government to control the rest of us who are innocent. Who didn't partake in any mass shooting and never would. They want us being controlled through government sanctioned, government funded gun violence and how does that make any sense to criminalize millions of innocent Americans? Just answer that question.